Hello guys, we are going to have another video uh, of Turkish language. In this video we are going to learn the plural suffixes and how to make the nouns uh, in plural form. So, let's go through these um, suffixes and the rules which uh, we are going to follow. The suffix is lar and it has two parts. It is divided to lar and lar. Lar, lar. And let's see where we are going to use lar and when we are going to use lar. According to the uh, vowel uh, harmony rule, uh, which uh, leads the Turkish suffixes rule um, in Turkish language. Um, whenever we have the sound o, u, a, and e, uh, let's say or, a, uh, or, e. Uh, uh, at the last uh, syllable of um, any word, we are going to use the suffix lar to make that word plural. Uh, the rule is in a, in an originally Turkish world, in all originally Turkish words, if we have um, one of these sounds, like if we have O, the other sounds are going to, um, the other vowels are going to be O or U, and the suffixes might be one of these four. Uh, we call them thick vowels, and if in a word we have the sound A or U, um, which are thick as well, we are going to have suffixes um, of the same sound, like a and u, or maybe o and o and u. Um, with more examples, you will um, be more familiar and uh, you will get to the point. For the uh, words that we have the sound e, u, e, and e, we are going to use the suffix lar to make the word plural. So if at the last syllable of the word we have one of these four sounds, one of these four vowels, let's say, um, the suffix lar will help us to make the word into plural form. Okay, let's go through the examples uh, and see how this works. Okay, for the word which the last syllable ends to a, we have insan, which means human, insan, and we made it plural with lar, with the sound with the vowel a, we have the suffix lar, which means humans. Another uh, example, we have parchalar. Parcha uh, means a piece of something. And uh, here we have parchalar, which means pieces. For the sound u, we have an example such as çocuk. We made it plural with lar. Çocuk, lar. You see, the word is um, the word consists of the sound, the vowel o and the vowel u, and we made it plural by the suffix which has the thick sound, lar, which means Kids, chujuk means kid or child. And 
Çocuklar means kids. The other example is sorular. Soru means question. And we have the two thick sounds here. And we make it plural with the suffix which contains the plural vowel. Sorry, the uh, thick vowel. Which means questions. So we have soru, sorular. With the sound ı, we have an example here, kızlar. Kız means girl. And we made it plural with the suffix lar. Which means girls. The other example is sarılar. Sarı means yellow. And in Turkish we can um, make um, the colors in plural form. Um, which means the yellow ones. Sarılar. Okay. The other uh, vowel, the other thick vowel is O. As you see, I put the all, uh, all of the uh, thick vowels here. A, U, U and O. Let's have an example for O. We have pantalonlar. Pantalonlar. In the last syllable, we have the sound, the vowel O. And we made our plural form with lar, which means pants. You know, pantalon from French. It uh, has come to Turkish as well. They use pantalon as pants. The other example is depolar. Depo means depo, you know. In the... We have the O sound in the last syllable and we made it plural with lar, which means depots. Let's go to the um, thin sounds. Here we have E. We have an example for that. Erkekler. Erkek means man. Erkekler means men or boys. So, here we have the sound E, as you see here, at the last syllable, and we chose LAR for making it plural. The other example is KIYAFETLAR. In the last syllable, we have this in the vowel E, and we make the plural uh, form with the suffix LAR. KIYAFET means cloth. And kıyafet lar means clothes. Actually in English, yeah, clothes. We use it as plural form. Here, okay. Uh, we have the sound e and then as an example, işler. İş means work or job. We use it for both uh, meanings. İşler means works. And the other example is kediler. Kedi means cat. We have the sound e at the end of the uh, word here, we the, the last uh, syllable, and we made it plural with lar means cats. Kedi, kediler. The other vowel that we have is u. The sound U, um, we can have an example here like Küçükler. Okay, I made a mistake here. Okay. Okay, we have küçükler, and here küçük means small, küçükler means the small ones. 
Another example, kötüler. Kötü means bad. Kötüler means the bad ones. I'll pronounce it one more time. Küçükler. Kötüler. The sound um, or the vowel ö is another thin sound that we have. And uh, here we have an example like gözler. Göz means eye, like the eye on your face. And gözler means eyes here. The other example which I brought is sözler. Söz means word or lyrics of a song. So sözler means words or lyrics. Okay. We have some examples uh, which are common, and you may hear it on a um, daily basis. Uh, here we have bayanlar ve baylar. It means ladies and gentlemen. Bayan means lady, and we have the sound, the thick sound of a here. And we use the suffix of lar for that. By at the same time, and it's in the same conditions, it has the sound a here, and we have the suffix lar. The other example here we have küçükler ve büyükler. I read it again. Küçükler ve büyükler, which means the small ones and the big ones. Here. Uh, we have the thin sound of U. We uh, matched it with the suffix lar. Here we have büyük, means big, and we chose lar because this it has um, this. A uh, vowel here, which is thin, and we match those those uh, two um, thin sounds together. We chose lar for büyük as well. The other example here we have insanlar ve hayvanlar. Insan means human. Here we have the sound a. We um, combined it with. The suffix lar, and here we have hayvan, which means animal, and because of the last uh, syllables, um, thick sound, we combined it with lar. Here we have humans and animals. I read it again: insanlar ve hayvanlar. Okay. The other word that you will hear it a lot and you will use it a lot is teşekkürler. Teşekkürler. Here, in the last syllable, we have u sound, which is thin. So we combine it with the suffix lar, which has the thin sound as well. Teşekkürler means thanks. Tebrikler. Tebrik has uh, the e sound in the last syllable and we combine it with the suffix lar which means congratulations tebrikler here we have selamlar selam means hello means many hellos selamlar as you see we have the a Vowel at the last syllable, and we combined it with the suffix lar. Okay, here we have sevgiler ve saygılar. Sevgi means love. It has the sound e at the end at the last syllable. We combined it with the suffix lar. And here we have saygı. Saygı means respect. It ends with um, the e sound, the thick sound of e. And we combined it with 
uh, the suffix lar because it has a thick sound as well. It means with love and respect. Okay. I think we are the... Uh, okay. We have one more example. Um, kadınlar ve erkekler. Kadın means woman. It has a thick sound at the end at the last syllable and we combined it with the suffix lar. Erkek means man or boy. Um, it has the sound e at the last syllable and we combined it with lar. So it means women and men. Kadınlar ve erkekler. Okay. Uh, here we came to the end of the video. I hope you liked it and please give me a thumbs up if it was helpful for you and um, you are free to subscribe and follow the other videos as well. Good luck, take your notes, do not forget to repeat the lessons. Good luck.